When using triggers in Character Animator, it's super helpful to have visual buttons to control your puppets. The Controls Panel feature makes it easy, and for simple triggers, its auto-generated layer visualizers work great. But for complex triggers involving multiple layers, or for triggers that are generated from replays, this auto-generated button feature is not as useful. This requires custom buttons, and they're really easy to make. I'll show you how. Alright, so I'm here in the record interface in Adobe Character Animator 2023. As you can see here, I've already set up a control panel uh, from my previous tutorial on how to do a head turn. If you do not see a control panel here, which this is not the default position for it, uh, but usually it can also be found in the triggers panel. They go hand in hand. Um, you can look up here into window and make sure that it is set up. So we have triggers and controls separately here. Typically you would see it in your triggers panel as a separate panel. And if you wanted to create your own control panel that was on your menu, all you have to do is uh, grab over here and you can move it where you'd like on your screen. And I'll select the eyes and delete them with this little trash can icon here. Uh, so now I don't have any of those triggers. If I wanted to create triggers for it, it's as simple as dragging the triggers out from your trigger panel. They'll automatically uh, associate whatever image layers you have associated with that trigger. But sometimes that gets confusing. But let's say you have something a little more complex, like we created these um, look left and look right triggers um, and I've also created this shake your head no and shake your head up and down yes uh, that were created using replays down here when you create something like that there's no image that's associated with it and it gets very difficult to visualize where you need to hit on the screen uh, so in order to do that um, there's a very, very simple solution that is available in Adobe Character Animator. And we're going to hop over to Photoshop to set it up. I have created some buttons here. Um, you'll see that some of these are actually just emojis and they happen to work really, really well um, as far as triggering different sorts of emotions. You can kind of very quickly read what you need to from those buttons. So I have that. I have some eye positions. And then I also have some arrows here. You can download this in the description below, or you can make your own. These are very small. Uh, the whole width of this is a little over a thousand pixels, and then they're about a hundred pixels tall, but they could even be smaller. They're really just graphics for your buttons. So I have them all saved in a folder here. And if you scroll down, you'll see that I've also labeled all of them, which is important. I highly recommend labeling them. So I want to bring this button folder into my puppet here and I want to add one new button so it's letting me know that the RGB doesn't match that's fine these are strictly for button purposes so I also want to create a button for an eye twinkle I'm just going to make a new layer here and I'll simply make some eyes make the fill white Bigger. Okay. That'll be black. You can make this however you'd like. You can make them in Procreate, you can make them in Illustrator, you can make them in any program you want really. Uh, but let's say I'm just going to go super simple and just make this little star shape here <laughs> really wonky and add that to the eye. That way I know that it's a twinkle. Now I can just control or command E to flatten those three layers into one. And I'm just gonna control J and duplicate that eye. And now I can select them both and control E to flatten them again. I'm gonna change the name of that to twinkle. And we'll shrink it down so it's about the size of all the rest of these. All right, and that's in the buttons. So now that all the buttons are there and where I need them, I'm going to disable visibility on that layer. 
and I'm going to save this puppet file. And now that I switch back over to Character Animator, you can see that it's automatically updating. Uh, you don't see any changes here, but what we will see is if we go into the rigging panel, there's the buttons. I want to assign these to their proper controllers. And I actually don't have the controller for Twinkle, so I'll add that over here. We'll go back over here. Um, so now I just, let's say I just want to change these eyes. So this is like a blink. Um, what I will do is switch over to layout, make sure I'm in the control panel, switch to layout, and I can drag the image for blink over that blink. Now I have my blinking eyes uh, for the twinkle. I can go ahead and grab that here. And now I have a twinkle icon. I know for these here, this is the up, the left, and the right. So I'm going to use arrows here. automatically update in character animator. So now I got these extras here that I can work with and I will quickly just add those to their respective buttons here. All right, and this is a much more user-friendly control panel. It's as easy as that. And now I can use my buttons with confidence. I hope this was useful for you, and uh, if you make anything cool with it, let me know in the comments. Happy animating.